If she hadn't been there, NASA might have fallen behind and never reached space. Sounds dramatic? And she was a black woman? Not dramatic at all. In the 1950s, when NASA got its first IBM computer, she mastered a programming language no one else understood. Fortran, at age 50. Self-taught. No manual. No help. She made computers work at NASA. They called her the mother of programming. But honestly, that's not even the most amazing part. No one told her to learn it. There was no training. No old map. She just started, then taught it to the other black women on her team. No orders. No bonus. No credit. No complaint. While white engineers struggled with code, her team got it done. Quietly brilliant. Why? Because she believed survival meant adaptation. Not just for her, but for everyone around her. And she never talked about it. She passed in 2008, age 98, without a single public award. Her name, Dorothy Vaughn, first black woman manager at NASA, the first to turn programming into teamwork. She helped launch rockets, guide satellites, and train a new generation, quietly changing NASA from within. Before NASA, she taught math for 14 years, half the pay of white teachers, four kids, one shot at something bigger. So she took it. She led quietly, learned fast, broke barriers without shouting once. When computers came, she adapted to save her team's future. Thanks to her, black women rose in NASA's ranks and reshaped history from behind the scenes. In Hidden Figures, her name was there, but her story stayed quiet. Too quiet, she led a quiet revolution, taught everyone, took no credit. NASA's most humble genius, like and follow, because the movie made her a side character, but you can help make her the lead. Say her name, Dorothy Hall.